Hello my beautiful little unicorns and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that I've been given the pleasure to welcome you to one of my many pick a card readings here on YouTube, I'm Vanessa Samina and welcome to the fam. So you guys, today's reading is all about whether they are truly interested in you. So this is in fact a singles reading. Actually, if you are in an open relationship, then this reading may apply to your life as well. Either way, you guys, I have prepared four groups for you to figure out if they are truly interested in you or not. And today is another one of those readings where I will intuitively be picking cards for you and reading the messages that the universe has to offer about your current situation. And no, you guys, I'm not sick. I'm not sad. I'm not in a bad place. I'm just not wearing much makeup. It seems like whenever I don't wear a lot of makeup, people feel like I am sad. And I do enjoy applying makeup, but it's, it's not that serious. Regarding the four groups, we have the tiger eye, we have the organ, Orchid calcite, we have the white aragonite as well as the fuchsite, but the timestamps are down below in the description box as usual, as well as posted in a comment section. So you can just fast forward to the readings of your choice. And yes, I said readings. You can in fact feel drawn to multiple groups, two or three groups. So if you feel like that is the case for you, then tune into multiple readings because your personal reading regarding your situation may be a mixture between multiple groups. So do not deny yourself of the answers that you feel drawn to and of the answers that may be very much needed for you. And for all of you who have been wondering in my last videos where I get my crystal jewelry from, my crystal jewelry is from my own line. The link will be down below as well as the links to the two pieces that I'm wearing today. So feel free to check that out at your convenience. And guys, before I get into the readings, I just wanted to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Keen, which is an amazing online platform that provides psychic advice 24 seven. So no matter where you're situated in this world, if you feel like you need a little bit more insight, a little bit more help when it comes to just daily life challenges, Keen will be able to provide you with psychic readings by a professional. So upon signing up to the website, you can fill out a brief questionnaire, which will instantly pair you up with psychic advisors that are most compatible to you and your needs. So one thing that I love about Keen is that you can have an ongoing relationship with a psychic advisor, which will allow you to set goals, intentions, as well as keep track of energetic updates. And it's just a lot more of like a personal feeling that you can acquire from Keen compared to some other sites that are available online. And as most of you may know, psychic readings run really high in price usually. They can be anywhere between 100 to $250, depending on the psychic. And alongside that, you often need to commute to go and see your psychic. So the time and energy and money that you traditionally would have had to invest in psychic advice, you can save, you can pour into longer sessions by using Keen, because Keen is also a super affordable platform. You can get readings through a phone call, via a live chat, or email message. Messages. This ensures that you don't have to spend any more time than necessary and you can get the advice that you need out of the comfort of your home. So you guys, the link will be in the description box and I have an amazing offer for you guys. You can get your first 10 minutes for just $1.99. So do make sure that you make use of the link that is provided in the description box of this video. So my beautiful unicorns, that was it for the intro. We're all set to get into the readings and I'm going to be starting off with the first group which corresponds to the tiger eye. Hello group number one and welcome to your reading. So you chose the tiger eye group number one. First and foremost, let's quickly jump into why you may have chosen the stone before we get into your reading because that is always a sound indicator of what is going on within your reading. So the vibe that you get from the tiger eye is a very protective vibe. It is also a stone that is said to bring its wearer good luck. Wearing tiger eye jewelry is obviously a plus if you're looking to increase the luck and serendipity in your life. The stone is also a stone that promotes mental clarity and focus. So in correlation to whether they're truly interested in you or not, I definitely feel like what you need is mental clarity. You need to come to a point where you feel protected and at the same time, like you have a little more control over the situation. But I wanna move straight into your reading just to figure out what is going on. Let's get a little bit more deets for you. So group number one, first and foremost, we have the Eight of Cups. 
So I want you to know that this situation is not a negative situation. This situation of unknowingness, of not being sure whether they are truly interested in you is either way going to come with a learning experience as well as an infinite amount of possibilities at the end of your situation. This leads me to think that somehow either way, whether this works out or this connection does not work out, you are going to end up as a winner. You are going to end up in a good position where you're emotionally still fulfilled and emotionally still in a good place because maybe somebody else may come along, but I don't want to judge too soon. Then we have the Ace of Wands. So group number one, what I see in the Ace of Wands is an indication of how they may feel about you is just the fact that they feel like you give them a chance. You allow them to feel like a worthy human being and you're just somebody where they feel like they can be themselves, where they can be open and discuss new creative ventures and what they like about you, how they truly feel about you in regards to that is just that you're open-minded. So you may not always be the most approachable human being in this world but they know that at the end of the day you're open-minded you're cool when it comes to new ideas and you're willing to listen which is a great great group number one so okay the universe is sending us some signs here let's figure out exactly what is going on so i like to use the cards that pop out during shuffling because i always feel like it's a sign i always feel like it's there's something there where I want to investigate. So let me investigate for you, group number one. So we have the Empress, we have the Eight of Pentacles, as well as the Ten of Wands. One thing that I see in the Empress is that they find you attractive. One way how they truly feel about you is that you're hot, you're somebody who they think is physically attractive and somebody who they could see being with, if you know what I mean. But at the same time, I feel like they're very focused on their work, they're very focused on their money, if you will, and that is right now the main thing that they want to put their time and energy into. So they may not be 100% ready for a committed relationship, and that may not necessarily have to do with how they feel about you, but more about how they feel about their success and where they're bringing their life. Another thing that I see in the 10 of wands is that they're kind of like at a place where their ideas about love are maybe not the best. So I feel like maybe they've been in a really unsatisfying relationship in the past. They've been in a situation where they've emotionally been hurt and drained. And right now they may just need a little bit of time to recuperate before they can get into a relationship again. So moving further into reading in the mirror, I see that you have to look in the mirror and also ask yourself how you truly feel about them. So do you feel things for them in a very pure way or is there kind of like an ulterior motive here? And by ulterior motive, I am not trying to call you out, group number one. I'm just saying, you know, what is triggering you to want to figure out how they feel about you? Are you subconsciously a little bit insecure? Are you subconsciously in a place where it's so important to you how other people feel about you where you should maybe re evaluate those feelings because oftentimes when we're really insecure or we're not sure about how somebody thinks we are that can sort of trigger a response where we're not completely being ourselves because we're trying to fit this sort of cookie cutter mold if you will we're trying to be attractive or what society tries to tell us is attractive then we have the sun so as i already mentioned in the eight of cups Either way, this is going to be a favorable outcome for you. This is going to be a situation where you're going to come out the other side feeling good, feeling revamped, refreshed, and not really in a way where you're sad or heartbroken. Don't worry yourself, group number one. Then we have get grounded. One thing that I see is that you're highly sensitive and that is how they feel about you. They're a little bit afraid of your sensitive side. They're a little bit afraid of the side of you that is maybe outspoken or says how they feel because they don't want to be confronted with certain things. So in the topaz, I see that what they don't want to be confronted with is a situation where they're being called out for their mistakes. I see in the topaz that in the past, in one of their past relationships, they may have made some mistakes. It doesn't necessarily have to be something huge or detrimental, but they made mistakes and the person that they were with just could not let it go, okay? And that is probably what broke up their relationship. And in correlation to how they feel about you, there could be a little bit of fear here. There could be 
a little bit of this feeling of resentment from the other person that is still here today and that may transfer onto you. So if you do get deeper into a relationship of any kind with this person, I want you to know that there may still be emotional baggage here in correlation to letting go. Then in the clear courts, I want you to know that feeling how you feel is okay. That is one thing that I feel within your reading that you may feel almost a little bit embarrassed about how you feel about this person in particular. You may have never felt this way. You may have never been triggered like this or brought to a point where you felt so insecure or you've been so obsessed to know how somebody feels about you and it's okay, you know? These are all feelings that teach us for the future. I remember I used to obsess and once you get over that phase, you get to a point where you sort of don't really care how somebody else sees you. Maybe you're like, yeah, well, you know, I would like to know whether they like me or not, but you're not obsessed. You're kind of like, this is how I am. So either they like me and they still want to see me, either they like me and they still want to be with me or, you know, they don't. Then moving further into reading in opportunity, I see that there is opportunity here with this person or just basically in other realms as well. I see that there is opportunity within your life in love particularly and you may not be able to see it. I see that you may be so focused on this person that you may not see other opportunities in love and just other possibilities. That is one thing that I feel within the Ace of Wands in correlation to opportunity. You're very much focused on this one person you're very much focused about how they feel meanwhile there's maybe somebody else just around the corner who feels a way that you would want somebody to feel about you so keep an open mind and keep your eyes open then we have big happy changes so group number one there are definitely big happy changes coming for you there's definitely the situation here that will change where things will all of a sudden become different in a very good and positive way as we have as we already spoke about earlier we have the sun we have just so many indicators that emotionally things are going to work out for you and there's not much that you need to worry about here and i feel like they may not be ready as i mentioned earlier because they're so focused on their work and because of the baggage that they may carry but the outcome is favorable so if this person is somebody that you're meant to have in your life for a certain amount of time and then they will be in your life but if they are still too occupied with whatever you're doing i see somebody swooping in taking up their spot and you kind of like forgetting that this situation ever existed so group number one this is the reading that i received for you i truly hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it insightful let me know down in the comment section how you liked it and i will see you in one of my upcoming readings Hello group number two and welcome to your reading. So you chose the orchid calcite. So group number two, first and foremost, let's discuss why you may have chosen this stone. So the stone is a gorgeous stone and it has this really pretty sort of like orangey color and the orchid calcite is also known to be a stone that allows you to move forward, that allows you to let go of any feelings of anxiety and fear. Another thing about the orchid calcite is that it refreshes your mind and it puts new ideas into your plane. But let's move further into your reading to figure out exactly how they truly feel about you. So in the emperor, I feel like in correlation to the orchid calcite, they feel like you have new innovative ideas and they see leadership qualities within you so they truly feel that you are somebody who is mature they truly feel like you're somebody who is maybe an old soul and wise beyond their years so if this is something that you've heard before i want you to know that this person in question feels the exact same way about you they see you the exact same way and that is something really cool that is something that just shows that you are a highly intelligent intuitive and developed human being which is a great trait to have but it can also be intimidating i will move further into your reading though to figure out if being intimidating is kind of something that is a part of how they truly feel about you so then we have again more information so i truly feel like one thing about how they feel about you is mystery they feel like they need to know a little bit more about you before they can make up their minds as to how they truly
really feel about you and just who you are as a person. So group number two, be a little bit more open if you feel like you're somebody who is kind of closed off. It may be beneficial for you to just tell them like, hey, ask me anything. Is there anything you've always wanted to know? And maybe also ask them a few questions. So one way how you can initiate a fluid conversation is by asking them like, hey, you know, how did you grow up? What was your favorite show growing up? What was your favorite food? Just ask questions and show that you're interested in their life and then in turn, you know, the natural human thing to do is to ask questions back and feel more comfortable asking more information. That is what you will do to them. You will allow them to feel more comfortable asking you more information about yourself because then they're gonna be like, wow, you know, we're talking, things are flowing, the conversation is going well, so let me ask this question that I've always wanted to ask. Create that safe haven for them to figure out more about you. Then we have trust your path. So I want you to think to yourself, if you knew that this would work out, if you knew that they truly liked you, that they truly appreciated you, that they truly felt about you in a way that is positive and that is the way you would like them to feel about you, what would you do? If you would be more open, more outgoing, more yourself, start doing that now, group number two, because I don't want you to wait till you know for sure how they feel about you. You have to live life now. Life is happening now. You can't always just wait till you get the okay from somebody else before you start being the truest form of you. And that is one thing that I want you to implement each and every day. Moving further into reading in the star seed, I see that you may be a star seed. You may be somebody who is very much after everything that lights them up. But a star seed may also have this feeling of not being completely sure of home and what feels right. So if you're somebody who sort of struggles in love to know what emotions are good and what emotions maybe don't belong in a healthy relationship, I see that a year from now, things are going to change. I see a year from now, you're all of a sudden going to know exactly what a healthy relationship entails, what a toxic relationship entails. Things are going to be a lot clearer for you but I see that you need more time to develop. You need a little bit more time to gather more experiences. That is also why we have get more information within your reading. Yes, you're very mature and realistic, but at the same time, you're only human. You're only somebody who can think so far without experiencing. And by that, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean, if we don't experience, we'll never truly know what it feels like. It's just like telling somebody, oh yeah, I can totally sympathize with the fact that your grandma passed away, the fact that you feel uncomfortable in your body. You know, if you've never been in that situation, you don't truly know what it feels like. You can empathize, but you don't know if you know what I mean. So group number two, then we have the four of cups. So I see a little bit of emotional hurt here. And I see that you may have sort of rubbed them the wrong way. I feel like they truly feel about you in a way that maybe you're a little bit too hard for them. Maybe your exterior shell is a little bit too difficult to break through. And I feel like they may be almost at their wits end they're like okay how can i figure out more about her how can i figure out what is truly going on in his head to be a little bit more open group number two i truly feel like you're somebody who may be overly protective about their heart and unwilling to let anybody in. Maybe you don't even notice it, but that's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting here. In the Rose Quartz, I want you to know that there is a great possibility for this to be a new romantic or renewed romantic connection. So if this is somebody that you've known for a while and you're unsure about how they truly feel about you, this is time for romance this is time for your love life to be spiked up to be at a point where there is more spice there's more life there's more fire within it so just allow it to happen kind of go with the flow oftentimes when things are going well in love we tend to self-sabotage and that is a mistake i don't want you to make in the kyanite i see that what will truly allow you to feel better about this situation is to spend more time with self-care. So yes, you're somebody who makes an impression as soon as you enter the room, but at the same time, you're not a rock. You know what I mean? You are a very strong person, but even the strongest person needs time to just take care of themselves. It needs time to just recuperate and regain their strength 
from the daily grind, the daily struggles, however you would like to call it. And you may just be somebody who needs a little break right now. And in the appetite, I want you to focus on progress, not perfection. So in correlation to how they feel about you, I see that they will progressively feel more and more for you. But you have to allow things to progress slowly. You have to allow things to happen in time and in time that will also show you whether this is connect a connection that you even still want. So as I said, you may be really mysterious to them and they may feel like they want more information about you, but I see that you also need to figure out more about them. They may have a very rocky past that they have not told you about yet, or they may have current issues that they're struggling with, such as maybe an addiction, maybe they're still in love with their ex, maybe they still have feelings for somebody in their life who is sadly no longer here where there's a lot of grief. So there are obviously various different scenarios those with just examples but you need to focus on just slowly progressing and then reevaluating each stage of this relationship so we have the seven of cups one thing that i see in the seven of cups in correlation to the rest of your reading is that they probably find you somebody who is mysterious where they feel like they need more information but at the same time they are naturally drawn to you i see that they truly feel that you're somebody who is attracted to them emotionally mentally and they almost feel like you're a little bit of a tease they almost feel like you're somebody who will let them in a little bit but then lock them out two seconds later and just let them sort of sleep on the couch for the next nights or months or whatever you know what i mean like they feel like you're the kind of person who lets them in a little bit and things are great and then you get maybe a little fearful and push them back out so they do feel like you're a confident person that may intimidate them but at the same time they're naturally drawn to you they want to see more of you then we have the tower so one thing that i see in the tower is that there is inevitably going to be a big change within this relationship there is inevitably going to be a situation where the old needs to be tossed out because things were not communicated the way they should have been so i feel like maybe they are not completely truthful with you i feel like maybe there's a side of them that they're still hiding from you and that is why the tower has showed up this side that they have shown to you this part of them that you have gotten to know is not the solid foundation upon which a relationship should be built a relationship should be built on honesty and you being able to be yourself but because you may be a little bit intimidating to them i feel like they've been afraid to completely be themselves i feel like they've been worried to let you know exactly how they feel about you so try and be a little bit more open and approachable to this person try and not have so much phallic energy phallic energy is masculine energy and masculine energy is something that can be really intimidating to other people especially when it comes to love and especially if you're a woman looking for a man that can be very intimidating but obviously it can go in many different ways my channel is all inclusive know that just too much phallic energy in general is not a good idea and maybe something that you've been carrying around with you all this time without even noticing so group number two this is the reading that i received for you i truly hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it insightful let me know down in the comment section if you did and i will see you in one of my upcoming readings hello group number three and welcome to your reading so you chose the white aragonite so the white aragonite is a stone of purification but it is also a stone that helps you remain calm and just fills your energy field with kind of like a sense of light so this stone allows you to heal yourself it allows you to produce this kind of energy that you can then use on your space on your energetic field so let's move further into your reading to figure out exactly how they feel about you so first and foremost we have strengths so group number three and strength i want you to know that they feel like you're somebody who is really compassionate they feel like at the core of you you are in fact a good person strength is just an indication to me that you're somebody who has empathy for other people's situations you're someone who is always concerned with how others feel even if that is detrimental to you sometimes in group number three i don't want you to feel bad about this this is in fact a positive trait 
The fact that some people may make use of that, the fact that some people may take your kindness for weakness or take your kindness for granted, says a lot about the people who do that and it just only says good about you basically. But let's move further into your reading. So in the Two of Wands, I see that they feel like you're somebody with a grand amount of potential. They feel like the world is your oyster, like you're somebody who has already accomplished a lot and still has so much to accomplish and they would like to be a part of that. I see that they're interested in your journey through life. They're interested to see what you're going to do next and they're maybe even interested in partnering up with you on a project because they can tell that your vibes, your energy is sincere and that is something that they really appreciate and like. So maybe this person is a business person. Maybe this person is somebody who is self-employed or has their own little side hustle or is just in a position where they have a lot of responsibility and they can appreciate these qualities that you have. They can appreciate the fact that you're an honest and transparent human being. So then we have the Unakite. I want you to know, group number three in the Unakite, that all of your wishes are sort of going to be answered in this situation. I feel like how they truly feel about you will transcend. It will slowly come to light and everything that you've hoped for is probably going to turn out for the better. But in your answered prayers, there could also be a situation that arises where you feel like you need to get cleansed and just kind of be by yourself, if you will. So if you realize that this connection is not for you, then prayers can be answered by you getting the self-care and self-love from you that you need and kind of realizing that you're a lot stronger than you ever thought. So then in the opal, I want you to know that this person just loves the exterior of you. So maybe you're somebody who likes to dress in a really different and fun way. Maybe you're somebody who just physically stands out. Like when you go somewhere, people look at you, okay? And for you, it's awkward for them. They really like that. They find you somebody who's very unique, who is one of a kind, and someone who is just interesting from the outside. And I want you to embrace that. I want you to not be embarrassed or ashamed about that because oftentimes the people who walk down the street and get noticed, they're often ashamed about it. They're often not that self-confident and it only makes sense because if people look at you but don't tell you that they have something positive in mind when they look at you, you're just going to think like, wow, why is everybody staring at me? And that is something that I completely get, but they think that it's really attractive. And then in the page of swords, I see that group number three, one thing about this card showing up in your reading indicates to me that they're not quite sure how to communicate with you. They're not quite sure how they should tell you about their feelings. In correlation to the rest of your reading, I feel like their feelings are more on the positive side, but let's see what else we have. We have the Wheel of Fortune, so I feel like they're not 100% sure. I feel like this person that you're inquiring about may have sort of ups and downs in how they feel. They may one time feel super into it and then the next day feel almost a little bit afraid of the connection that they have with you. So this person may feel a little bit scared to establish a commitment. They may be a bit of a commitment phobe, if you will. That is something that can get in the way of just being in a relationship where there's trust, where there is love, and commitment. Then in abundance, I want you to know that there is abundance coming into your love life. I want you to know that how they feel about you is almost like envious about the rest of your life. So they're not jealous, but they do envy you for everything that's going well in your life and they kind of wish that they had the same success. So I see that they see you as a successful person. They see you as somebody who is still going to accomplish a lot in this lifetime. Then in unlikely, one thing that I see about them and their feelings in correlation to you is that they're unlikely to tell you how they truly feel in the very near future. So group number three, I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to be sad, but at the same time, I want to tell you exactly what vibes I get. I see that this person is maybe not a big talker. This person is maybe not somebody who likes to open up as to how they feel to other people. So don't expect miracles when it comes to communication. I see that they're very new to this communication thing. That is one thing that I see in the page of sources 
swords, they're not completely sure how they can communicate and how they can let you know how they feel, but they're trying, okay? So just give them a little bit of time. They may be on the shy side. Then in Don't Dim to Fit In, I want you to keep in mind that if you are dimming your light, as we had in the opal, if you are walking with your head down a little bit, if you have a little bit of insecurity about yourself just because you're somebody who stands out or somebody who has always been different or always been made fun of, I want you to not change who you are just to fit in. I want you to not allow the haters to win, so to say. And I know this is an unlikely thing, for a tarot reader to say, but there are haters in this world and I just wanna be honest with you. Something that I've dealt with, I would be lying if I would tell you, oh, there aren't any haters in this world, it's all just love and positivity. I mean, that is wishful thinking. There are people who do not wish the best for you and I don't want you to allow their negative energy to take over any part of your life because it doesn't deserve any part of your life. Embrace yourself and know that they feel that you are strong enough to do that. As I said in strength, you're somebody who they feel is almost like a rock to other people and you're somebody where they feel like you have endless potential. So make use of the fact that that is the energy that you still emit even though haters would like to drag that down. Then in Lemuria, I want you to know that things are happening for the better. I want you to know that how they feel about you is that you're a safe spot, like that Lana Del Rey song, Heaven is a place on earth with you. Whenever they're around you, they have positive feelings. Whenever they're around you, they have a rush of these emotions that they maybe have never felt before. And in these star, I see that you give them hope. You give them a new outlook, a fresh perspective. So maybe you've been through a lot in your life and you have stories to share that nobody else could really share but you because it's kind of like a one in a kind experience that you've had so far and I see that you may have been down in the gutter and pulled yourself back up from your own strength and you want to inspire other people to do the same so I see a lot of drive within your reading and I see a lot where it is clear that they see you as somebody that they sort of look up to even if they would never admit it then last but not least, we have the Queen of Swords. So in the Queen of Swords, I feel like this is you. I feel like the Queen of Swords indicates that you're somebody who says it like it is, who is not afraid to say the truth. You're definitely not gonna sugarcoat anything just to make the situation seem better. But you're still somebody who has good skills when it comes to speaking, when it comes to how you communicate with other people. So other people don't see you as blunt or harsh, but they do see you as somebody who is direct and they definitely feel like you're one who is not gonna take any crap from nobody. They feel like you're somebody to look out for, somebody that's still gonna go far in life and they're definitely very much interested in you as a person. I did mention that they found you physically attractive but what they're really into is your mental space. They're really into what's going on up here and that is something really amazing group number three. So I truly hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that you found it insightful. Let me know down in the comment section if you did and I will see you in one of my upcoming readings. Hello group number four and welcome to your reading. So you chose the fuck site. So group number four, this is not only a gorgeous mineral, it is also a mineral that is said to help in the process of just clearing and healing various levels of consciousness. It is also a stone that is said to amplify the abilities of other stones. If you have another stone that is for instance cleansing and you pair it up with the fuck site, you get a ultra cleansing mixture. That is what I mean by that. The fuck site is also a stone that helps you come to a more tranquil and compassionate place where you have a lot of understanding for other people. But I wanna move into your reading about how they truly feel about you in correlation to the fuck site. So first and foremost, we have justice. Justice, I want you to know that balance is something that they see in you. And funny enough, the fuck side is a stone that also helps you rebalance, that helps you get your emotional plane into check. So I definitely feel like you're somebody who is too dem, calm, content, and somebody who is just has their life together. And I know that may sound really crazy to you, especially if you feel like, wow, like I'm 
this age and I'm still here, like what am I gonna do with my life? I don't even know what 10 years from now how things are gonna be. What I do know is that I don't even know how I got here. So those may all be thoughts that run through your mind, but to them, you've got your life together. You've got things going for you and you have a plan. I definitely see them seeing you as someone who is confident. Then in look for a sign, I want you to know that they're always on the lookout for a sign about how you feel about them. So this indicates to me that maybe there is a little bit of a cat and mouse game going on here. Maybe they're a little insecure about telling you how they feel before you've told them how you feel about them. So they want to hear from you first. They want to get that confirmation that you feel a certain way about them before they open up to you. And this just shows that they're maybe a little bit scared about their feelings. They may be a little bit worried to admit how they truly feel about you to themselves as well as to you because they don't want to get hurt. Then in leap, I want you to know that you should go first. The universe will catch you. So I know that it's always really difficult to tell somebody else how you feel about them or the situation that's going on between you and them to be the first one to bring it up because there's always this danger of it being awkward, of you being the one who sort of ruined the connection or you just being completely off in how you feel. How you feel isn't off group number four, but it's embarrassing when you are confessing your love and the other person says that they don't feel the same way. I mean, who would not feel embarrassed? That is just the most horrible scenario that I can think of. So I totally get you, but in this instance, I see that you have to take the leap of faith. You have to like wait for the right moment and then go for it. Don't worry too much about timing and just leap. That is one thing that I see that's essential here. Then we have awakening. One thing that I see is that um, you can integrate these energetic upgrades to make this leap of faith. Right now, you're going through a phase where there's a renewal of your energy. I feel like your energy is increasing to a point where you're more confident and what would allow you to take this leap in a more confident stride is to just integrate these energetic upgrades, this awakening that you're having about yourself or maybe other areas of life and take that confidence into consideration when it comes to love when it comes to the romantic realms in your life because that sort of confidence is always good to have in your back pocket. So let's move further into reading. We have take action, okay? It is very clear, group number four, that you have to take action. So I'm not 100% sure yet at this point in your reading how they truly feel about you, but the universe doesn't want you to know that at this time. The universe wants you to know right now that you have to take action, which indicates to me that they probably feel the way you want them to feel about you because the universe obviously would not want you to go through a horrible experience. Then in the moon, I see that you have to intuitively take this action. You have to intuitively know how to phrase and say your thoughts in a way that you still feel comfortable, but will also get you the answers that you need. So in take action and the moon, I want you to know that you can lure them into giving you a few hints about how they feel about you before you come out with the big confession, if you will. But let's move further into your reading. We have the Knight of Wands. In the Knight of Wands, again, take action, get it done, get it over with, and just do what you need to do. I feel like you may feel really strongly about this person and you maybe are not admitting it to yourself or you don't want to tell yourself that you do in fact have this sense of feeling like I should just be the first one to make a move. I should just either demand an answer or tell them how I feel. Either way, I have to do something here. So do not tell yourself that that is not true. If you have this little tingling feeling that's like, uh, I wanna bring it up, I wanna talk about it, then talk about it, group number four. In judgment, I want you to know that there is no reason for you to fear being judged, there is no reason for you to feel like things are going to go down south because one thing that I see in judgment is that you may hold really high standards for yourself and that you may be very much afraid of being let down or being rejected. And what I want you to know in judgment is that this fear of rejection can sometimes be so intense and crippling to the point where it's harming our love life, where it's harming how our relationships work out for us. And judgment is something that we need to be very careful with, especially with ourselves, because if you hold yourself to a really high standard and everybody else to a lower standard, then 
things are going to be hard for you and do you really want life to just be tough for you and easy for everyone else? I mean, you decide. Then in the aquamarine, I want you to take a step back. The aquamarine is a sort of like a cooling stone. It is for anybody who is hot-headed. Maybe you are of a fire sign or maybe you're just generally somebody who sort of freaks out or gets stressed out really easily. And I see in the aquamarine that you have to relax a little bit. You have to take a step back and you have to take time to let things cool off. So if you're really worried or afraid or if you're in a spot where you're super anxious, where you have intense anxiety take a step back take a little bit of a time out just to recuperate yourself and to gain your strength back then in the angelite i see that joining in with people who are going through the same thing will allow you to truly come to terms with your situation so speak to a friend who may be going through exactly what you're going through with this person who may be asking themselves how somebody feels about them as well and just vent to just allow yourself to talk to them about everything that's going well everything that's going not so well and be blunt be honest be outspoken if you cannot communicate your true feelings to your friends or family then who are you going to communicate them to you know what i mean so don't be embarrassed about anything that is going on for you emotionally just vent if you need to vent because i see that there may be energy here that is stuck that needs to come unstuck and it could possibly be fixed by you just saying out loud how you truly feel about this situation and how you truly feel about this person then in the fluorite i see that you're naturally somebody who is physically probably very beautiful you're naturally somebody who people find attractive you know you just maybe fit that traditional kind of attractive mold that may be out here by society but in natural beauty and authenticity you may also be that person who is still authentic you may also be that person who feels happy with themselves without tweaking anything without any makeup without needing to change anything about their body and that is something that they find great about you that is something that they really like about you they find you someone who is really natural and even if you have done something i want you to know that they do not notice they're somebody who sees you just as who you are for who you are and they just love how you are in your most natural state and they may even want you to tone it down a little bit so i see that they may feel like you're even doing too much you would be even more attractive just being more relaxed and not even trying to dress up or make up too much they feel like you as yourself in your most purest form is the most attractive form of you last but not least in the peridot i want you to know that there are patterns here that are not beneficial there are situations here where lessons can be learned so if this is a pattern that you're going through or that you've gone through before where you're sort of obsessing over how they feel about you or you're really interested in their thoughts on you i want you to know that the universe is pointing a finger at that the universe wants you to think about whether this is a pattern that has a negative effect because overthinking how other people feel about you can lead you to a point of insecurity and can lead you to a point where you all of a sudden start to self-sabotage as soon as you figure out that they actually like you or that they actually appreciate you so i want you to take a hard look at that group number four i'm definitely not calling you out i'm just letting you know what i see and the fact that there are some ties that can be severed with some patterns within your love life that would aid this connection and future connections in your life so group number four that is a reading that i received for you i truly hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it insightful let me know down in the comment section and if you're new to my channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and i will see you in one of my upcoming readings